Hello, welcome to Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. I am your host, Vanilla Biscotti. Don't mind the background noise. I'm uh, in my mom's basement doing laundry. Today, we're gonna draw everyone's favorite superhero, Shrek. So, let's get started. First, let's get our pens going. Mm, there we go. All right, now Shrek. I think he looks, and he has ears like this. Oh, Shrek, you're looking good already. Okay. Now, I can't remember what kind of clothes Shrek wears, so I'm just going to do this. This is going to be his arm. He's Shrek. Shrek is very, very powerful beast. Lots of muscles. He's going to be flexing this way. Yeah, Shrek. Flex on them haters. Not that you have any. I'm going to finish his body here. Actually, okay, Shrek. Wow. What a magnificent creature. I'm going to draw the legs here. I don't, I don't really know what happened down there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It's okay. There are no mistakes. Just happy little accidents. Just, um... Okay. Shrek, you're looking beautiful. So, he's probably always barefoot. So, we'll put his feet... Okay, Shrek, you're looking pretty. You're looking pretty fly. Oh, wait, let me draw. Because he's super duper buff. I should probably draw. So it looks like he's wearing pants. All right, looks good. Now, let's see. We got to color him in. I don't know if there's a paint. This is a new program for me, so. Anyways. No, let's, he's a uh, green, kind of, I guess. Sure, let's color him in. Draw his eyes. I think he has a nose. And he's going to be smiling. He's a happy Shrek. Yeah, happy Shrek. Color in his eyes. Sure, he can have blue eyes. Uh-oh. Let's see. Guess I gotta delete first. There we go. Now, give him those beautiful blue eyes. Alright. Oops. Oops. Now, we color in his pants. Make pant legs. So, maybe like a... Hmm. Like a red. Red pants. Eh, that looks good. Sure. Just color in his dookie pants. Dookie brown pants. Grab this green again. Color in his feet. All right, and there you have it. Tis be the Shrek. Welcome. Sit down. Relax. We got a very special show today. It wasn't really a request, but somebody asked me if I could draw their favorite video game character. But I won't tell you who it is. I want you to guess. So let's make someone's dreams come true. And I will draw their favorite video game character. Do you know who it is yet? No, you can't guess yet. I'm just, I'm, I'm just goofing you. I know you can't guess yet. How do I know? Getting a little clearer, right? You just, uh, no, not yet. Okay, well, how about now? Still don't know? I'm just joshing you. You need more details, don't you? The devil's in the details. I know this. You know this. 
Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, Vanilla, that doesn't look like anybody that I would know from a video game. Well, just wait, my friend. Just wait. Give him a little smile here. Okay, now I work on some very important details down here. Details are down here. Yeah, details. Now, this, this certain character is known for his attitude. So, we'll give him... He has his hands crossed. And this, this hand is peace. Is he happy? He's happy. He wants everyone to feel peace. He's just happy. Happy character. And then this hand over here. Just, just hanging out. Just waving. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Still don't know who it is yet? Okay, I'll give you a few more details here. Now, this, this certain character, he always runs. Always running. Very busy. Very busy little, little guy. He's always on the run. He's got a lot of people to help. He's going to add... Add little little whirlies, because he's fast. It helps if you make the sound effects. Very fast character, very fast. And you still might be thinking, Vanilla, I don't know who this is yet. You got me stumped. You are a trickster, and I'm not sure who this is. Okay. Well, if you saw, I picked the color blue there. And we'll just, I'm going to draw, color them in here. Color them in, color them in, color them in. Now, you might know who it is by now. That's fine. We all have our little guesses. We all have our ideas. There's no wrong answer. Just ideas, opinions. We all have them. They're all nice to have. I won't tell you who this is until I'm done. If you have your own ideas, that's fine. Leave them in the comments below. It's fine. Like I said, no wrong answers. Okay. Now you gotta do his his very nice looking belly. Very nice character this guy is. Very nice. He's very helpful. Very nice to his friends. Very cool guy. Now this will be the defining clue if you don't know who it is. If you don't know, that's fine. I pulled a fast one on you. Just goofing around. Oh, you know what? We gotta give this happy little guy another ear. Just another ear. Whoosh. We gotta color in that ear. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Just color it in. Color, color, color. There you go. The mystery character this time is Sonic from Sonic Adventures. So there you have it. Now you know how to draw a perfect Sonic. Hello friends, welcome. Welcome back to my mom's basement. I know it's been a little bit. You know, sometimes life gets in the way. But, I have a very special drawing this time. It's a very popular video game back in the 90s. You remember the 90s, right? With the Rugrats and the Rockers on the left. And all the cartoons and the video games. <sighs> Anyways, enough of that. Let me show you the very special drawing I have planned this time. You 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 know you're gonna love you're gonna love this one. I know you will. So draw this. It's gonna be up here. It doesn't look like much now, but trust me. I 
just want to get the base model down. You know, you know how we do it here. Nothing really fancy or anything. Just drawing shapes. Drawing shapes. Getting them all to line up. Whatever. Nothing fancy here. It's just a simple base. Okay, so we got this down for the base. So now, not that I've learned how to draw or anything, but I've learned a little bit about layers. So what we want to do is we want to add layers to what we got here. So that's that's the muscles for this guy. Lots of muscles. He's very muscular. Very muscular. Muscular. <laughs> Sometimes I make up funny words. It's fine. Not a problem. You know what? Those muscles aren't working for me. It's not, we don't make mistakes here. It's just happy little accidents. So what I'm going to do for the second layer then is I'll just add his clothes. Can't, he can't be naked now, can he? Actually, hmm. this character, naked. Hmm. That's an idea. An idea for something else. Not today. Any ideas on who this character might be? No? Let me fill in some details here. Maybe you'll see it when when the details start coming in. Nothing yet. Let me try another layer here. Oops. He's got a belt. belt he has grenades no ideas yet all right maybe you do have your ideas if you have an idea leave it down in the comments there's never a wrong answer we're all friends we're all just making little doodles so all we do here, make little doodles. Now this guy definitely needs some boots. You might have guessed who it is by now. If you haven't, that's fine. It's drawn, drawing the happy little character here. No worries, you don't have to guess. It's fine if you don't want to guess, or if you have guessed, and you think it's the answer, it's fine. We're all just friends here, drawing happy little characters. This will be another key part here. Give it a little color, a little bit of detail. Nothing fancy here. You know, my brother, he uh, he goes to school for graphic design. He's always telling me crazy stories of some of the magic that he's made, some of the worlds that he's built with just just his imagination. And that's kind of what we're doing here, just using our imagination, just drawing things. Kicking around ideas, you know, just having fun, being friends, being a friends, everyone. That's all we're really doing. Just being friendly. Now 
this guy, he has very cool sunglasses, so I'm going to give him his sunglasses here. Maybe you know who it is by the sunglasses. If not, it's fine. Like I said, we're just friends here. Just drawing little characters, having a good time, nothing fancy. Just messing around with some colors. Okay. I gotta give him his, his skin. Otherwise he's gonna be a ghost man. Could you imagine a ghost man character? That would be interesting. I'm surprised nobody's made that yet. Maybe they have. I don't remember. Being my age, you play a lot of games. You can't remember them all. Ghostman character though, that would be very interesting to see. But right now we're not drawing a ghostman character. I'm drawing someone else. You might know who it is by now. I'll tell you what, when I'm done drawing, I'll let you in on the secret on who this is. And it's just about done. This layer. I recently, one of my very good, good friends, one of my very good artist friends, watching, watching her draw. She's very, very talented. Very, very good. You know what? I'm going to leave a link to her Twitter down below. You want to check her out. Anyways, she streams a lot on Twitch. And I've been watching her draw whenever I can, you know. And I've learned not how to draw, per se, because that's something you need to practice with. But I've learned about layers... This is the first time I've actually tried drawing with a bunch of different layers. Uh, I don't... I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to do it. It doesn't matter. We're just friends. Just friends messing around with colors. That's all we are. Just messing around. Having a good time. Making silly characters in our free time. Alright, now this is done. Do you have any ideas who it could be? I'll give you a hint. He's from the 90s. He's in a really good game. Can't guess? You have guessed? Put it in the comments. I'll let you know who it is. This is the great Duke Nukem. You remember Duke Nukem, right? He's a, such a rascal. Such a, a rascal. He's so funny. His game is so witty. Should I try to do my best Duke Nukem impersonation? Not very good impersonations. It's fun though. It's fun to try to be somebody else every once in a while. Just for fun. Let me let me try. <coughs> I'm Duke Nukem. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. Should I try it again? <coughs> I like babes. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this drawing. I know I sure did. If you have anything you'd like me to draw, leave it down in the comments below. I'll get down to it. I'll draw it. We'll have a good time. Until next time, I love seeing you. I love hanging out with you. I love drawing things for you. Until next time. Later.
Welcome back to another episode of Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. I am your host, Vanilla Biscotti, and today we're going to be painting and drawing something very, very special. We're going to be drawing Link from the Legend of Zelda series. Everyone knows Link, right? He's a little little man with the, the little ears. So let's dive right into this adventure. So first we'll start with his his head his body. This is gonna be a very very simple drawing. Because Link, very simple little boy. So we'll start with his hands. I'm gonna give him little little round hands. Nothing fancy. Just little hands. And then this one will come down. Another hand down here. All right now we got his hands. Draw his body. And his feet, his legs. Let's give him like an action pose. Give him something. Something crazy that he's doing. He's a very, very crazy character. Okay. Now we got the base down. So, what I like to do is I'll delete. Like here. And delete here. Delete this. Delete this thing down here. Whatever that's supposed to be. Okay, so now what I'll do start another layer here. Start drawing in his clothes. Can't have a naked little boy running around. That would get me in a lot of trouble. So draw his now what he wears is called a tunic. Tunic is like a a vest type of thing so we'll draw that color in his tunic and I just use different colors just give it a little variety just color 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 in color in his tunic Now, he's going to be wearing shorts. So, we'll give him some shorts. Now, you might be saying, but Vanilla, it looks like he's wearing a one-piece jumper. We'll fix that. Remember, there's never any mistakes. It's happy little accidents. We'll actually give him a little belt here. Okay, that's looking good. Looking good, Link. Wow, I'm I'm impressed, Link. Okay, now we gotta draw draw his ears. Now he has funny ears because they're pointy. Draw a little pointy ear. A little pointy ear over here. Oh. And remember, there's never any mistakes. Happy little accidents. Draw the rest of his head. Okay, looks good. Now, we can draw his hair. He has long blonde hair. So we'll draw that. His long blonde hair. 
that goes over his ears. Something like this. And color that in. Now, Link also wears a funny green hat. So we'll make it the same color as this. It's funny hat. Funny green hat. It comes down kind of like this. He's a funny character, Link is. Okay, alright, Link's looking really, really good. So now we just have to color. We'll give him some skin color here. So, hmm, give him this color. Now, he definitely is going to need some shoes. So we'll fill those in later. His little, little funny shoes that he wears. Color in his ears here, his funny ears. Color in his face. He's got to have a face. Okay, now, what color should his shoes be? Be. Lee. <laughs> I make a funny word sometimes when I when I draw. Anyways, I'll start a new sketch layer here. Give him some some shoes for Link. Link is actually a warrior, so he needs warrior shoes. Okay, good, good Link. Very good. Now, you know we gotta give him some eyes here. So we'll just just give him some eyes here. And give him some blue eyes. Link is always yelling because he's full of power, so give him a, an open mouth. Color in his mouth here. Definitely have to give him some eyebrows. Okay. So now we gotta give him his tools that he uses to save the day, which would be his master sword. So let me draw that. Very big sword. Link has the biggest of all swords. But that's why he's so popular with the ladies. I joke. I joke. We'll joke. We'll joke for Zelda. Or for Link, Zelda. and his sword. Give it, give it a nice blue, speckles of blue here. It's a very colorful sword, very powerful as well. And we gotta give him his, his shield. He's actually Gonna be holding his shield, so let's give him 
No shield. Color it. This also is very colorful. Let's color this in. All right, and there you have it. It's Link from The Legend of Zelda. Be sure to share this video with all your friends so they can they too can learn how to make a perfect link every time. And I will see you on the next episode. <laughs>
some shapes. Start coloring in her her suits, her brick of bracks, her nick and necks, nick and neck of patty whackers. You always gotta start. Always, you always, 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 always want to start with some sort of base, some sort of starting point for everything. Then you can go back and you make little changes here and there. Whatever you need to change, you can change. Like right here, I'm gonna change this. So it goes in front of the arm instead of behind the arm. So just go like this. And you know, there's never any right way or wrong way to do your drawing. This is your drawing. You want to put it in the front, leave it in the front. You want it to be in the back. It's your choice. This is your world. You create it. You create what you envision and what you see. I am merely just the teacher that teaches you how to get there. But I cannot tell you how to do it one way or the other that's that's for you to decide my friends I merely give you tools and the guidance to help you on your journey but I cannot get you there. That is something that you have to achieve. And of course I will help you. I'll help any of my friends. I'll help them do whatever they need to do in any way that I can. I will help all my friends to the best of my abilities, of course. But, as I said, I am merely one man teaching, teaching you how to achieve. I think I'm going to give Pursuit little, little details here and there. Jazz it up a bit. Bit of different color in her hair. All right, there's perfect step-by-step -step way to draw Samus from Metroid. Tune in next time. I will draw another famous character, and I'll teach you how to do it so you can draw a perfect one every time. beautiful friends welcome back to another exciting episode of painting with vanilla biscotti as you already know I am vanilla biscotti and today I'm gonna to be drawing one of my favorite characters of all time so without further ado let's uh let's get into it so first Let's start this one's gonna be a little different. I start with the with the face right away. Now you're probably not gonna know who this is until 
I start drawing more of the body. But once again, I just draw simple shapes to start to get an outline of what I want the body to look like. So we'll do that. Okay, now we start another layer here. Now we start filling in the details. Fill in the eyes. Give them, give them a head. Okay, and then a nose and a smile. You probably won't know who this is until we get closer to the end, but I can assure you, it's going to be a really good drawing. Really, really good. So, draw his hands here. pretty good for the the body Let me just get rid of this here get rid of this here actually that one needs to stay and this one can go Now, give them, give them some hands here. So go back to this level. Give them some hands. Give this, this one's a, a fist. Go back to this level. some of this delete this all right it's looking it's looking really good so far get rid of this here get rid of this okay you probably won't know who this is yet but we'll continue this, right for this, a very special message from one of my ad revenue partners. So I'll be right back. Hi, my name is Shaquille O'Neal and I need to speak to you about something that's very, very important. Stop being such a goober! Get some sweet swag now! Stop being such a normal default skin! Get yours today! Okay, and we're back. So, I'm gonna give you all a clue as to who I'm drawing here, so. Bring this down here. Bring this down here like this. Like that. Okay. Now. Now. Now let's see. Go back to here. Once I finish this part here. Once I finish this part, you'll definitely know. You'll definitely know who this is. First, I give him some feet. Some feet for this guy. He needs feet. Everybody needs feet. He likes having feet. 
one I'm drawing. I can tell you a little bit about this character. He absolutely loves to swing and to jump, to have a good time. He loves to be active. He loves to eat. He loves his friends. He's very, very, very friendly. Very friendly rascal, little rascal guy. He's just an all around fun guy to be around. And you know what? I think I gotta give him some ears here. Okay, now, now then, let's, let's start coloring, coloring in our friend here. He needs some colors, he needs some pizzazz. Let me just a little bit bigger, color him in. Once again, I have to go for an ad. Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. We'll be right back. Gotta go fast! You're too slow! I wish I could go faster. <laughs> now you can! Just slap one of these puppies on and you're off to the races! No, I'm turbo fast. Thank you. Don't wait, don't hesitate. Don't meet me there, beat me there. Get one today. Welcome back, my friends. We're just filling in my my buddy here. Just filling in, giving him some color, so we all know who this guy is. Cause he is just about done. And he's a glorious beast. A glorious beast. This guy, I tell you. This little rascal has been on many adventures. I'm sure you've heard of him. I'm sure you've played his adventures too. He's been in fighting games, he's been in racing games. He's been in his own game. Very, very popular guy here. Very, very popular. And with just a little bit of color, you'll be able to see. You'll see. You'll recognize. Maybe you already know who he is. If you do, that's wonderful. It's one of my favorite characters. I've played his games. I've played his games before. He's my favorite fighter. He's my favorite racer. My favorite game growing up as a kid. You know, we all have our favorite games that we like to play. Sometimes though, sometimes people's opinions on games get get a little bit too heated. You gotta just remember, you just gotta have fun with it, you know? Maybe, maybe Joel from around the block doesn't like the game that you play. That's fine. Maybe you don't like the game that Joel plays. That's fine too. We all don't have to like the same things. That's what makes us human, you know? There's certain foods that I don't like that people like. I, for one, am not a fan of seafood. Some people like seafood. That doesn't mean that they're bad people. Just that they like different things. We all like different things. That's what makes us human. That's what makes the world go round. And that's what makes us all interesting. Sometimes you don't have to necessarily like something that somebody else likes. It doesn't mean you're wrong. It doesn't mean that they're wrong. And this drawing is just about wrapped up. There you go, my friends. That is 
the one and only Donkey Kong from Donkey Kong Country. He originally was from the game Donkey Kong back when I was, even when I was a little boy. But I hope I taught you how to draw a perfect Donkey Kong every time. Thank you, my friends, for coming out, and I will see you on the next one. beautiful beautiful friends I am vanilla biscotti and this is painting with vanilla biscotti and this episode is a fan picked episode so what I did is I went over to my happy little Twitter and I started up a poll and I asked what everyone would like me to draw and the winning vote is what I'm gonna draw today don't worry though, I will be drawing the other choices, but for today, I'm drawing the number one pick. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm very excited for this one. So this time I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to try, well first I'm going to start with my simple shapes. Cause you know how I do it here. And we have a hand coming down like this. And her other hand is gonna be like this. And we got a leg coming down and sideways. And this leg is going to be kind of like this. There, we got our very basic shapes. Now, let me start another layer here. Let me turn this sideways so I can get a better angle. We start, we start coloring it in, filling it in, getting rid of all the stuff. Happy little accidents. that we will not need for this drawing since arms are connected to the body get rid of that here I'm gonna just just touch this up just a little bit just so it looks a little normal there we go Get rid of that there. The leg here. Now this might look like a convoluted mess right now, but I assure you, when it's done, you're gonna love it. So okay, I'll go on to the next layer here. I'm gonna start with I guess we'll start with the hair. Because she has very, very pretty hair, very pretty hair. So we'll just kind of go like this, fill it in a little bit. And now since she's in this position, it's going to be kind of out like this. Just, just out like this, just a little bit. It's just a little bit there, just like that. bit here covers the head okay now there's a very specific reason why I have her in this position and that's because she's actually wearing a bathing suit because she is actually at the beach so let me what color should her bathing suit be I'll put a green a green would look nice with her 
their golden hair. Very nice golden hair. No mistake. On this layer, get rid of that little mistake. Now remember, we don't make mistakes here. Just happy little accidents. Actually, I think I want to draw just just a line here, indication that it's the bottom of her swimsuit. Now, I'm gonna fill in. Gotta give her some more of the more beautiful colors for her skin. <laughs> that, that's our cleavage because <laughs> she's on the beach wearing a swimsuit okay now we're going to fix this so it doesn't look like here so it looks like she has a pair of legs not just actually you know that's the great thing about art sometimes you draw something you have an idea, and it doesn't quite, quite work out the way you envisioned. But here's the great thing about art. You can always go back, you can always go back, fix things that you think look kind of wonky, or maybe aren't working out for you. You know, because we all, we've all been there. We have an, a vision in our head. We want it to look a certain way. We get it down, and it doesn't look that way, and we're like, we feel, you know, we might feel like we're bad artists. And that's, that's not the case at all. Sometimes you just have to, you know, you have to go for it. Sometimes you just have to finish what you're working on, you know, and it might not be as bad as you think. You know, you might just be in the, a wrong, the wrong frame of mind, and... You know, you might think negative of your own work. A lot of people do that. It's that's part of being being an artist. Sometimes you just think bad of your own work. But you know, when you feel that way, you just have to tell that little voice. Just be like, little voice, little negative voice in my head. Leave me alone because I know that I make good art and it might not look perfect every time because that's what happens sometimes but I am a fantastic artist and you can just leave me alone little voice you know and if you tell yourself that more and more eventually that little voice well that little voice will just leave you alone and I know this to be true because I used to have that little voice in my head telling me that I'm no good, that I should just stop. I should just not draw and teach people how to draw perfect characters every time. And eventually I told that little voice I'm like, you know what, little voice? I don't like your attitude. I don't like the way you talk to me. So now, get out of my head, little voice. And I said this when I was 
at Walmart all by myself. And, you know, at first, people didn't understand. They're like, why is this guy talking to himself? But then they're like, oh, he's right. If we all told a little voice in our head to go away, then we would all be a little happier. And so that's, that's one way to feel better about your art. Just, you just have to go for it sometimes, you know? Just see what happens. Yeah, you're going to get the people that are mean. Yeah, you're going to get the people that don't like it. But that's okay because not everybody has to like everything that you do. That's just the way it is when you're an artist or a creator. You can't get mad at them because they don't like what, what you make. Sometimes people just don't like it. But there you oh wait a minute here. I'm a silly boy. I don't know. Since this time she is on That's this is the sand that she's laying on. Just fill that in. She needs a lovely smile to finish this painting. Okay, there you go. That's how you can draw a perfect Princess Peach every time. Fun fact. If you flip it over to the side, she's laying on the beach. But if you flip it over the other way, she's sitting cross-legged. So that's a fun fact. It's almost two, a two-in-one drawing. Anyways, I thank you for joining me this time. I thank you for listening to me rant. I will see you again very, very soon, my friends. Take care. Everybody, welcome to Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. I, as you know, am Vanilla Biscotti. And we're going to keep the introductions a little shorter this time because I am very, very excited to draw this new drawing. Oh my, I, I can't, I can't, I can't help it. I just have to, I have to start right away. I'm really, really excited for this one. And I know, I know you're all gonna love it. So once again, as always, I'm getting just my basic shapes down. This one's gonna be, oh my God, it's gonna be so good. Okay, now we got the basic shapes down already. Now, you're probably thinking, what in the heck is that? But you know how we do it here in this show. We always get our shapes down, and then we go back, get the fine, fine details. So let me fill in some of these details here. Then you will truly see You will see 
what I am drawing, 100%. You might know what this is from my happy Twitter poll that I did maybe a week ago. Anyways. Now we got some details. We can start kind of filling things in here. You're going to be very surprised when you see this one all colored in because it's a very, very good character. Now I know this isn't really a 100% live show, but just wanted to say if you're ever watching these and you ever need to contact me, feel free to do so. I have a Twitter. You can message me on there. I have an email. You can message me there. If you ever need a friend to talk to, if you ever need someone to give you advice or whatever, I'm here for you, friends. It's no problem. I'm never too busy for my friends. Might be a little busy. Might take me a little bit to respond due to my schedule. But I'll always respond. You don't have to worry about that. I'll never leave you without a response. So if you're ever feeling blue, if you're ever feeling down, if you're ever feeling... The world is crashing down on you. Don't be afraid. I'm here for you. Even if you just need someone to talk to, I'm very easy to talk to. I'm a good listener, too. I just listen. Listen to what you have to say. Just quietly, quietly listen. That's what friends do. That's what any person will do if they have the time to. Sometimes we forget that there are other people in this world. Sometimes we forget that people sometimes need a little bit of help. Or we might be too busy. But you're never too busy just to send send a message, you know. Maybe you haven't maybe you have a friend you haven't talked to in a while. Just to send them a friendly hello. Hello friend. How have you been? Maybe, maybe on your way to get a cup of coffee. Hello, friend. How have you been? I've missed you. Sometimes that's all it takes. Just send a, just send a friendly little hello. A little reminder. Hey, you're still on my mind, my friend. Now, you might not have a lot of time to necessarily sit there and have a five hour conversation with somebody but like I said sometimes sometimes it, you don't need that you can just just a friendly hello one of the things I like to do is I like to try to compliment somebody somebody that I haven't talked to in a while or somebody Somebody that I kind of know. You don't want to just compliment people you don't know. Some Sometimes people don't like that. But if it's someone you know, you could be like, Hey friend, I really like your shirt. Or, hey friend, I like your hair today. Boy, let me tell you, sometimes something as small as that can make someone's day just a hundred percent better because you don't know they could be going through something that you don't know they could be feeling a certain way and boy let me tell you a compliment like that could save somebody's life and you think I'm joking but it's true 
something as simple as just just a simple hello could be enough to really change someone's outlook on life you know like I said you never really know what people are going through you never really know how people are feeling if you're always if you ever want to know you could just ask somebody hey friend how are you today how are you how you feeling are you okay is there anything new going on with you how's your family how's your friends it just doesn't take much to be a good friend to somebody doesn't take much at all just a friendly hello nobody's too busy just for a hello of course I don't know I you could be too busy but I mean even if you're just have five minutes and you have that friend that you haven't talked to in a while hello friend oh boy I sound like a broken record talking about talking about the same things over and over but sometimes it needs to be repeated sometimes certain things need to be said more than once give it that that edge of understanding and I'm just gonna finish some of these lines here and there you have it my friends a perfect Diddy Kong every time hopefully you learned a thing or two Hopefully you learned how to draw. Hopefully you learned how to make a new friend today or keep your old friends. I've had so much fun talking to you this time. I had so much fun drawing for you. I'll see you again, my friends. Take care. Welcome to another very exciting episode of Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. I am Vanilla Biscotti. And if you're new here, let me introduce my show. Basically, what I do is I draw, I teach you how to draw the most beautiful characters from popular video games, movies, animes, whatever you like. The show is 100% based on what people request me to draw. So if you ever have a suggestion, let me know in the comments below. Or you can hit me up on my Twitter. I'll graphically display that here. You can let me know in a DM. You can post something and make sure you tag me in it. Whatever you'd like, as long as I can see what you want me to draw, I will draw for you. Now. Since the introductions are out of the way, let's get started. I got a very, very special drawing today that I, I, I'd like to share with you. So I'm just going get, to get right into it. I'm going to talk a little bit about who I'm drawing and why I'm drawing this particular character. And you'll see and understand why. So this time I am drawing, I'm sure you're all familiar with the show Pokemon. I am drawing Misty from Pokemon. You might be asking me, well, why? Why are you drawing Misty? She, she wasn't a very important character of the show. Why don't you draw someone like ash or brock or something something like that well let me tell you why i am drawing misty because 
she is she is a support character now you might be th you might say to yourself well wait support characters they're not they're not very important well yes yes they are and I'm gonna tell you why sometimes in life all you need are everybody needs support okay everybody needs help everybody needs support now Misty whom I'm drawing right now is a perfect support character and let me tell you why she's always been in the show she's always been there for Ash and her friends now she might not be as important to some people as let's say Ash was or Brock was or any of those people but that does not make her less important okay she is just as important as even Ash was because she's always been there for Ash and for her friends even through thick and thin she's always been there with a smile on her face ready to go to help however she could and to me that's very important to me I am all for people even even a small role person like 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 Misty here she's always been there for her friends and she's always helped as much as she could and when times got tough Misty was still there with her friends and that that is sometimes well that is sometimes that's all the time very important there's never a time when it's not okay to support the people you love your friends your family you know we forget we forget how important we forget how important support can be sometimes you know and I hear this a lot I hear this a lot in my my line of work a lot of people are out there a lot of people are out there and they're creating things and they're working super hard on everything just to some incredible people working on incredible things and their friends and family you know they sometimes they don't they don't know how to support and they're like well I'm just one person what can I do well I'm gonna tell you something you being that one person you can do a whole lot you can share it on Facebook or Twitter you can leave a message or a comment on the content you can ask about other things that they might be working on at the time there are so 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 many things that one person can do and you know what you being that one person asking about all the things that they're working on is so very important to the person that's working on things so with that being said I want to take the time to say thank you everybody thank you everyone for coming out and seeing me week after week while I teach you how to draw beautiful characters you could be anywhere else in the world and you choose to be here with me week after week and that means so so much to me I 
know sometimes it gets hard and I understand I understand that we all have lives it gets hard for me sometimes too I want nothing more in this world than it's just be able to teach people how to draw and talk to you talk to you week after week about about things but sometimes you know things happen life gets in the way I have to work I work at my full-time job and it's just I can't express enough how much it means to me for everyone to be out here and we are doing really fantastic this time around with our Misty so give her a different color green I'm gonna make these this color once again I'm gonna graphically display my Twitter down below if you ever have a request for something for me to draw or if you just just like the chat just like to talk to me that's fine send me a message tag me tag me in a message whatever you like whatever you're comfortable with and I will get back to you as fast as I can when we can discuss anything you'd like video games music whatever you like my inbox is always open so feel free feel free to use it I know it gets hard some people get nervous when you're asking them to, to message you know they might not know you you might not know them some people some people don't really like to just message strangers like that and I 100% understand where that's coming from but you spent time with me you spend time with me every week while I draw teach you how to draw video game characters So, we're not, not 100% strangers, but I still understand how it can be a little, a little nerve wracking to just message like that. So I understand, I understand my friends. Don't think that I do not because I do. understand completely and I'm the same way sometimes I might be on Twitter or even twitch and I might see somebody that has just so many followers so many friends they're all tuning in tuning in to watch this great person and I'm I might be in the chat room and I'm just like, wow, there's so many people here. What do I say? What do I do? Are they gonna, are they gonna accept me? And that's usually the main deterrent for me is if people, if I say something, what are other people gonna say? And you know, sometimes you just gotta, just gotta take that leap. Even a simple hello. Hello friends in the chat room. How are we today? And you never know, you might make a new friend. Sometimes that's all it takes. Just a simple hello. Just make sure you mind your P's and Q's. Say something friendly. Maybe talk about the game. Maybe it's a game you've never seen before. Hello friends. What is this game? This game looks interesting. Can you please tell me more? I would love to learn about this game and once again
you could make another friend that simple. I hope you've been paying attention because just like that we have a perfect Misty from Pokemon. I thank you all for coming out. I thank you for tuning in with me every week where I help you draw perfect characters. Special thank you to this person here, this wonderful, wonderful artist. My art has inspired them so much that they now know how to draw a perfect Samus every time. And if you'd like to say, if you'd like to compliment their art, I'm gonna leave their Twitter handle below. You can contact them, tell them you saw their art on my show and say, thank you, friend. Thank you for showing me that I too can draw. And with that, I will see you next time, my friends. Take care. friends welcome to the 10th episode of painting with vanilla biscotti i am your host vanilla biscotti we have a very very special episode not only am i going to draw one of my favorite characters of all time but with a very special guest that made the music for the outro this time now what i'm going to do is i'm not going to play the whole song I'm going to play a little snippet of it, but I'm going to leave the channel name and the song in the description below. I'm also going to leave his Twitter in case you'd like to say thank you for the lovely music. I loved it and I enjoyed it and I enjoyed it. It paired well with my favorite drawing show, Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. So now that we have that out of the way let me get situated here we're gonna draw I'm very very excited my friends to draw this one today now, as you know we always start off with our simple shapes you might not know who this is yet but once the sh simple shapes are out of the way you will know We've, we've talked about a lot of a lot of topics here on this show. That's very good, very very good. Some people, some people out there, well, they're not very friendly. And that's okay. Not everyone has to be friendly all of the time because. If everyone was friendly all the time, honestly, you wouldn't know what friendly is because that's all you've ever seen before. But it's never okay to bully somebody. Never ever. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you a little story. When I was growing up, I was bullied a lot. I got bullied because I didn't come from the right background. What I mean by that is my my mom was uh, pretty much an alcoholic and I didn't have a dad growing up. He decided to leave when I was young. You know, that's his choice. I can't blame him for that. But this meant that I was different than the other kids because I didn't have a lot of money. I didn't have, you know, the coolest clothes that the kid, all the other kids had. 
and this led to a lot of bullying from me. And there was nights that I would go home crying from school and you know I felt very very helpless at times I felt like nobody in the world cared but then I started developing a habit for creation and by creation I meant I mean, my mom had a video camera that she would use to film, you know, birthdays and special events. And one day I took that camera and I started making silly videos. Just little, little silly videos here and there. You know, whenever I had the time or whenever I could use the camera. And I absolutely loved it. And I loved creating and seeing what kind of crazy things my mind could come up with. And I fell in love with creation. And to this day, I love to create. I love to use my mind to see what kind of, just what, what kind of, what kind of silly little thing I could come up with. And that was my escape from from being bullied. And after a while, after a while, I didn't even even realize that I wasn't getting bullied so much. And I I don't know I don't know what really happened. I think maybe my newfound confidence in myself might have stopped the bullying because I was getting more confident I was I was talking to people more I was being more social and you know I don't blame the bullies because we're all afraid of different things and maybe they were just afraid of me because I was a little different from them you know so when I started becoming myself and when I started started interacting more with the kids at my school they started to, to see that you know maybe I'm not I'm not so bad to hang around and I started making little friends here and there and it was just a wonderful time so if you ever have a problem with bullies as I know we all do sometimes maybe just try to try to connect with them a little bit try to interact a little bit you know you might it might work why not? Some people just like to be bullies. That's that's fine too. You know, just stay away from that guy or girl. Girls can be bullies too. But just stay away. Try to avoid confrontations. If you are in a confrontation, you should learn. The first thing about confrontations is you should learn to try to avoid them. If you ever are in one, you need to learn what to do. Now, I can't, I can't tell you what to do because, well, that's a little bit out of my expertise, but there's all kinds of programs and things out there for people that want to learn how to avoid confrontations and how to How to get out of them if you are in one I'd be happy to help you if you ever need help looking for a program like that I can help you we can learn together 
Maybe I could learn a thing or two about staying out of confrontations. It's me, myself, I am very, very passive about just about everything in life. It is a blessing and a curse for me because I have no real sense of urgency sometimes. But I also don't let things get me down. Yes, I do get down. Sometimes things bother me. You know, I'm, I'm a human being just like anyone else. Of course things are going to bother me every once in a while. But I don't usually dwell on them. I don't really allow them to affect me much. And by that I mean, you know, I'll do my little song and dance of anger. But then at the end of the day, I'm, I'll just be like, you know what, the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really, it doesn't really affect me too much. Yeah, what they said is hurtful, and yeah, what they said, you know, might not have been nice, but, you know, gotta take the good with the bad, and just let them believe whatever it is they believe you know unless unless what they said is very hurtful but two wrongs now this is an old saying but it's it's a good one two wrongs don't ever make a right and what that means is if somebody hurts you that doesn't give you the right to hurt them and I know that it's hard to follow that rule especially in the heat the heat of the moment when you got those fresh wounds and all you think about is oh man how can I get this how can I get this guy back? He really, he really steamed my broccoli and I am just livid with, with anger. And you just have to remember, just listen, just listen to your old friend Vanilla here. Just remember that anger will pass. Anger will always pass. Maybe it's longer for some than others, but it will always pass and you will always feel a little bit better. And when that passes, then you really don't have anything else to worry about. Because at that point, you've already, you've already, you know, forgotten. You might have already forgotten what made you mad. So, that's why... That's why when you're mad, if somebody does something to you, maybe just count. Just count. Count a few seconds. Five, ten seconds. And, boy, you'll, you'll never... I tell you, if you just count... Just count a few seconds after it happens. I can, I can guarantee that you will never, ever again do something to somebody else that you might regret because those that first couple seconds you're mad and you, you count count your 10 seconds 15 seconds 20 seconds whatever even if you have to go outside and take take a take a little bit of fresh air and if you do that and you come back you're gonna feel better and you're gonna you're you're, you're probably gonna forget what you were mad about in the first place and you know, unless he's doing it again, you know, you can just go on about your day. Now, if he's 
he or she is doing something to you that it's a non-stop harassment, then that's when you have to take the proper proper steps to solve that. Once again, that is not for me to say. Everyone has their own problem solving techniques. I am just here to give you advice in my ear and little pearls of wisdom. And if you haven't guessed already, we have drawn Tails from Sonic the Hedgehog. Tails was always one of my favorite characters, mostly because he was always very, very kind. And believe it or not, he was always kind of mistreated by Sonic. And it's kind of sad, but he makes up for it by being super smart. And he's always loyal to Sonic even on bad days. And now, we're gonna hand it over to my very special friend, the Lively Robot. I'm gonna play a little bit of his music. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna leave my Twitter down below and I'm gonna graphically display that on the screen. If you ever have any suggestions for me to draw or if you'd ever just like to talk to me, you can message me there or you can message me here on YouTube. Hope you had a wonderful time, and I will see you again soon, my friends. Take care. everyone welcome to episode 11 of painting with vanilla biscotti this is a fan requested episode what i did is i went over to my happy little twitter and i put a poll down i had everyone vote on what they would like to see me draw next so this is the winning vote i'm going to put that up on the screen graphically so you can see that the poll the winner pretty much won by a landslide. And I'm also going to graphically place my Twitter down on the bottom. In case you ever want to join in on the fun. Sometimes I post polls. Sometimes I post funny videos and memes. Just all around having a good time. So without further ado, let's draw the winner, the winning vote this time. And this time, it's... King Koopa or Bowser as some people like to call him. I personally like to call him King King Bowser. You might be saying Vanilla that's the funniest looking Bowser I've ever seen. Well just just wait. We are just getting started with Bowser here. It'll all make sense once I start drawing in some more of the details. You know, a lot of people stop by on my show here and they like to talk about certain things. You know, and I, I feel like I've covered a lot of a lot of topics way back from when I first started this channel, first started this show, I really didn't have any idea what I wanted to do with it. And I would just draw silly pictures and kind of just talk about what I'm doing. But the show over the last couple of months has grown to be so much more than just me drawing silly pictures. Of course, I do teach you how to draw perfect pictures every time. That hasn't changed. And that, that will continue to be 
what it needs to be. But what I mean is this show has changed into now I give people advice and ideas as to things in their life. And that's good because that means that my show has become somewhat of a vessel. A vessel for messages. A vessel for people to maybe learn something. Maybe to feel a little bit better about something in their life. Maybe they're going through something that they don't really know how to cope with it. So maybe they turn on my show and they just listen. Just listen to some of the things I have to say. Even if it doesn't pertain to them. Maybe it gets their ideas flowing. Well, I tell you what, sometimes ideas are interesting, to say the least. You can have the greatest idea in the world. And if you're like me, you forget a lot. So, what I like to do is if I have a really good idea that I don't want to forget, I'll actually I'll write that down because then you can go back to it, you can remember it, and oh boy, let me tell you, there's nothing better than getting a good idea off of paper and into your mind, into your thoughts. Boy, that's one of the best feelings in the world you can have. Like me, I have a lot of ideas all the time, and sometimes I go for the idea, and it doesn't work out. But that's okay, because sometimes you just have to go for the idea, go for whatever it is you're thinking about, just, just, just to see if it happens, just to see if it's going to work out. Not every idea is going to be a perfect one. You're going to make a lot of mistakes in life, and that's okay. That's how you learn. You stop learning when you stop making mistakes. And that's one of the worst things that could ever happen, is when you stop learning. Because that means you're getting too comfortable, and you're, stop, you're going to stop trying soon. And boy, oh boy, when that day comes, then it's pretty much all over for you and your mind. So, I'm going to tell you right now, friends, don't ever stop trying, please, because when you, when you stop trying, that's as I said, that's when you really are going to get into some trouble because you always have to try. You always have to try. You always have to want to try to succeed. You always want to try to be a little bit better. You always, always, always want to try. Even even if you try and fail, you can at least tell yourself, you know what, I tried my hardest, and that's all, at the end of the day, someone could ever ask for. If you just try your hardest, try to put in a little effort, boy, I'll tell you what, sometimes it makes all the difference. And so far, our King Bowser is looking pretty fantastic. I'm going to give him his trademark red hair here. That we all know and love. Right over his eye like this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Once again, I started babbling. That's okay. The message 
The message is always nice. What color eyes? But friends, I'm telling you right now, when you stop, stop trying, you know, and there's so many ways you can try. Another thing I want to talk about is being yourself. Some people, some people say, be, be myself, who else can I be? That's a very good point. But, you know, you know how these, it's always good to have idols to look up to. There's nothing wrong with looking up to somebody and, you know, they're, they're, they're your hero. They're who you would like to be. But don't ever think that you aren't good enough to be yourself because that is just not true, my friends. Everyone should be themselves. And that sounds, it sounds easier than it is. I know, I know what it's like. You know, maybe you have a friend or a, a, maybe you're trying to, con you know, trying to impress a friend or someone that you want to be your friend. You might tell a little fib here and there. There is nothing more there is nothing better in this world than you just being yourself. Nothing. And I'm going to tell you what. I promise you this. If you if you do if you start acting like yourself and you get that confidence started to build up, boy, I'm going to tell you there's nothing that you won't be able to accomplish in this world. I'm going to tell you that right now. You know what? Since we're talking about being ourselves, I want you guys to try something. When when you're at home or at school or at work, just try to imitate your favorite artist or musician or maybe you like wrestling. Just try to imitate your favorite person for a whole day. The way they talk, the way they walk, and just pretend you're them. Now, eventually you're gonna get tired because that's not naturally who you are. Now, just imagine doing that every day, every day you wake up. Oh boy, let me tell you, that, that's gonna get, that would get very tiring for me very quickly because I only know how to be me and I can't be anyone else. I can't be you. I can't be John Cena or William Defoe or Chris, Christopher Walken. All these people, they are themselves and I can try my best sometimes to you know, maybe sound like them here and there, but to truly be them, that would be, I, I would not be able to because that is not who I am. So with that being said, all I am, all I'm telling you is it's hard to be anyone else other than yourself. So, you already are who you are. There's no need to be anyone else in this world. And you can, you can, you can, I can guarantee this. You know, sometimes my, my mouth moves too fast for my brain to comprehend. But I'm telling you, as your friend, as your friend, as someone that likes to paint pictures for you and give you 
life lessons. It's better to just be yourself. And you know, you might you might find somebody that's that tries to be like you. And oh boy, is that something something to behold when you are being yourself and someone tries to be like you. Boy, that can be flattering or it can be a little scary. It's all for you to decide how you would like it to be. And I think we are just about done with this King Koopa drawing. Just gonna change the mouth a little bit here. So it looks more like a mouth here. You know what, I'm gonna give him a big, big smile. Because it's not every day that King Koopa gets the recognition that I think he, he deserves. But if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to change this a little bit. Just a little bit here. There. Move this down just a little bit. But above this one here. Change this to black. And there we have it, my friends. A perfect King Koopa every time. I hope you enjoyed your time here. I hope you enjoyed listening to me talk. I hope you join me on the next one. I'm going to put another poll up on my Twitter. You can decide what I draw next time. I'm also going to graphically display my Twitter handle in case you ever want to talk to me. If you have any suggestions for the show and i will see you next time my friends take care Welcome to episode 12 of Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. I am your host, Vanilla Biscotti. And this time, we're going to draw something very, very special. This is another character from my poll that I had a couple weeks ago. If you'd like to participate in the next poll, I'll put... I'll graphically display my Twitter down below. You can uh, message me there. We can talk about games. We can talk about memes. We can talk about anything that your heart might desire. I love talking to new friends. I love making new friends. Do not be afraid to message me on Twitter. So, some of you might know some of you might not know I also play video games on Twitch now I'm not going to use this video as a promotion for my Twitch because I feel that the people that would like to see me have already followed me but boy let me tell you I'm gonna tell you what it's like for me when I start the twitch I, I usually stream every morning 
I stream my favorite game, Harvest Moon. Now, you, you might not be familiar with Harvest Moon, and if you are, you're very lucky. Harvest Moon is my favorite game, and I grew up playing Harvest Moon. And let me tell you, when I wake up in the morning and I start my stream, I have so many friends that visit me almost every morning and just to know that I mean that much to them to where they'll come into my stream even even for a minute just just for them to think of me boy I tell you what that makes me feel like the luckiest guy in the world and I am the luckiest guy in the world because I have good friends and my good friends are good company and just just to be able to wake up and share my stream with so many people it's just it's phenomenal it really is incredible and I wouldn't wish for anything else than that some people like to and the thing about being a twitch streamer is there's so many different ways to do it some people like to put on costumes some people like to put on little shows and acts some people like to have really fancy things all on their screen and that's 100 percent up to you how you want to do it just remember that those people that show up are there to see you not your overlays not any special effects you added those might help people to stay a little longer but I've learned that if you are a nice person and you treat your viewers with respect and kindness they will return and they will always want to be there and watch the new game that their favorite streamer is playing and I have a lot of streamers that are my favorite if you'd ever like to know who they are let me know I can send you a link to my favorite streamers a lot of them are good friends of mine we hang out and we talk both on and off of Twitch and boy let me tell you when you get to play a game with your favorite streamer that that is special but you also have to respect that sometimes maybe a streamer doesn't want to play maybe he just wants to play by himself he or she maybe they're just they just want to chill and relax and they don't want to have to deal with the extra stress of playing with a fan or a follower or however whatever the case may be and you have to respect that that's that's the wishes of the streamer but I have no problem playing when I can with whoever would like to play I have a lot of games and I'm pretty good at the games so if you'd ever like to pl play with me on PlayStation 4 or maybe I have a Steam account we can play on the PC every game and every situation is different and every streamer is different too I might have already covered that but it looks like this drawing is just about done so what I'd like to do this time is I'd like to, to say my thanks thank you for watching my shows thank you for coming out and watching me paint and teaching you how to paint perfect drawings every time and just thank you for being you you are unique everybody's unique and sometimes 
the grand scheme of things, we forget how special we we really are. So I'm going to tell you right now, to me, you're all very special. And I love seeing you. I love drawing paintings for you and teaching you how to paint. I love hanging out. And it's just, it means so much that you tune in week after week to, to watch me and to watch my tutorials on how to draw. You could be anywhere else in the world and you decided to come in and hang out with me. And that's fantastic. And this drawing just going to put the finishing touches on this one and we are almost done if you'd ever like to request something for me to draw or if you'd ever just like a shout out or some recognition I'm going to put my Twitter down below graphically on the screen and it also will be in the description below just feel free to message me whatever whatever you want we can talk about anime, cartoons, games, whatever you like. I want to be your friend. And I want I want you to be my friend and I want to be your friend. Don't ever feel afraid to message me. And with that this drawing is just about done. Gonna put on the finishing touches here and hopefully I will see you again on the next painting with Vanilla Biscotti. I can't wait. I look forward to the painting with you every week. So with that, take care my friends and I will see you next time. Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. I am your host, Vanilla Biscotti. And if you're new to the show, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. If you're a longtime veteran of the show, welcome. I appreciate you tuning in. So, as you may or may not know, the new Spider-Man was released a little bit ago. So as a tribute to that game being released, I thought I would draw Spider-Man this time. Now as I draw Spider-Man, I tell you about a little discussion that a few people that I know we were having a couple days ago about superheroes now what what makes a superhero is it their superpowers or is it what they do for others that makes them a superhero for example I'll give you an example Iron Man for example now he himself has no powers whatsoever. He is just a guy that has a suit which gives him the powers. But he's considered a superhero for one reason or another. Now, Sp 
Spider-Man is also a superhero, but he actually has powers. Now, the main discussion we were having is, does somebody need to have special powers to be a superhero? My thoughts on it are no. Let me explain. I think a superhero is classified as superhero by how they treat others. And what I mean by that is you yourself can be a superhero. And what I mean by that is if you go out and you be the best you you can be every day it's gonna make you feel like a superhero and you might you might say that's crazy you know that's that's crazy that that doesn't happen and it does and it will if you go out and you be the best person you can be boy you can be your own own superhero so back to the original discussion by the way if you'd like to tell me your opinion on what we're talking about today I'll uh, graphically display my Twitter below you can send me a message there or we can discuss here on YouTube whichever one's easier for you I would love to hear your opinion on the subject matter but I think that just to be a superhero you just have to be kind to people just be nice just do what you can to brighten up the the days of others and that makes you more of a superhero than you could ever imagine Our Spider-Man's looking pretty good. Just finish up the arm here. Okay. Now, as far as super villains, boy, there's some real life super villains out there. Let me tell you. There are some people out there that just do not want you to be happy with anything. And those, those type of people, you know what, I'm going to draw, that actually looks, I need a really light gray color, give them some shadows here. shading I'm starting to work a little bit more on shading and just just things like that give my drawings a little bit more but that didn't that didn't work so well okay I think when it comes to spider-man this one is just about done. Let me just color his eyes in here. Alright, there you have it. One perfect Spider-Man. I thank you for coming out. I thank you for listening to me. Hopefully you've learned a little something that you can use for your life. If you ever need anything, if you ever like to talk about something, or if you ever have a topic that you'd like me to talk about on my, on my show here, I'll graphically display my Twitter once again on the screen. 
It's also going to be down below in the description. Please feel free to reach out to me. Tell me what you think of the show. Tell me about what you think of my drawings. Just tell me anything. I'm always willing to hear what you think. This show is 100% for the fans and is 100% created by fans. So I would love to hear from you. I'd love you to hear from me. And I'd love to just meet you, hang out, talk to you, whatever. Whatever you like. Anyways, my friends, I'll see you again next time. Take care. Welcome to another exciting episode of Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. I am your host, Vanilla Biscotti. And today, today I'm going to draw something a little different for you. Last time I drew Spider-Man, and I was going to draw Batman. And I was like, I've drawn a lot of superheroes in the past I've been drawing a lot of superheroes recently so and I was going to draw something spoopy for Halloween but I didn't want to scare you too much so today I'm going to draw one of my favorite Pokemon and you're probably going to be able to guess who it is right away as soon as I draw this fin this part right here. No, you don't know who it is yet? Okay, well let me let me continue drawing here. And soon enough you will see who it will be. You know, I just gotta say I love drawing for you guys. I know you've heard this before. I love talking to you and I love teaching you new things sometimes sometimes it gets hard for me to pick a topic to to uh, talk about so a lot of the time I just kind of I just kind of let my mind go and I just talk about whatever I never really have a, a topic picked or anything it's just kind of Kind of whatever happens as I'm drawing. Okay, so we got the base color, or the base down. So now we're going to start drawing some details here. This show is very reliant on user feedback. I always am looking for new topics to talk about, new things somebody might want me to say. If you ever have anything you want me to t talk about on the show, feel free to message me here or on Twitter. Oh, I'm going to graphically display my Twitter down below so you can message me if need be. I've talked about bullying, I've talked about being a good friend, I've talked about what I think a good friend, what being a good friend means, it's just all kinds of things. And I've never, I've never really wanted this show to be really preachy or 
anything like that. It's mostly it's mostly my opinion about how I feel about things. And it's fine to have a different opinion if you you know, if I say something that you might not think it's necessarily true. Feel free to message me. I'm not one of these people that is going to be offended if you say, hey, wait a minute, on this show you said this thing, but on this show you said this other thing. Sometimes it's good for others to give you a reality check. And, you know, me saying different things on the show, that's going to happen a lot because... Well, this is a very popular show, and I might say something different. I might say one thing, and then not knowing what I said last time, I might say something that contradicts what I just said before. And that's, you know, that's, that's going to happen. I'm not... I'm not here trying to trying to pretend that everything I say is going to be 100% accurate. I'm just a guy, one guy trying to teach people how to draw silly drawings. Sometimes my brain works faster than my mouth. My mouth works faster than my brain. And I might say something that you don't agree with. Let me know about it in the comments if I've ever done that. Let me know. Because as humans or aliens or whatever you want to be sometimes we just well, we forget that other people are other people. And and we, especially nowadays, have learned that it's okay to speak your mind in certain situations. As long as you do it in a civil matter, manner, it is 100% okay to tell someone if maybe they hurt your feelings or something. I tell people this all the time. Hey, if I ever said anything that offends you, let me know. Have I... Might I might have said something that you didn't agree with, let me know. I, this show cannot survive without feedback from the viewers. And your, your opinions and values are very, very important to me. Once again, I'm going to graphically display my Twitter below. Just let me know if you ever have any questions. If you have, ever have any, any topics or anything you'd like me to talk about. If you have any drawing requests, let me know. I also sometimes do live streams of art. Not so much lately. I've been... Well, I've been under the weather, so that's one of the reasons why this video is a little late. If you are the kind of person that likes schedules. And I've just been super, super busy. Now, you might be saying, well, how can you say, you know, that you're a good friend, but then you turn around and say, you're busy and I'm not saying that you can't be a friend and be busy because 
life happens and sometimes we get busy. But you're never too busy to just, hey friend, how are you? Because even me, sometimes I think, man, I haven't talked to this person in a long time. Let me, let me talk to this guy here and then I'll, I'll take a little bit of time and I'll send that person a message and hey, hey buddy, how has it been? How have you been? I've been busy. Tell me about what's going on in your life. I want to draw this little gun here. Actually, you know what? I think I will draw it over here. There's been times when I was like, hey buddy, how have you been? I've been super busy and I apologize for being busy. And I will, I will just, just catch up, catch up with them, you know? And that's all it really takes. Even, even if you're, um, playing, you know, you're sitting down, you're going to play your favorite, favorite game. Oh, I haven't talked to Bill in a while. Let me, let me contact Bill and see what he's been up to while I'm in the, the loading screen here. And there you go. You've You've once again contacted a friend that maybe you haven't contacted in a while. And sometimes that's all it takes. Sometimes that's all it takes. Just a few, few seconds every time. And I think just add one finishing touch here. And there you have it. A perfect Blastoise. Every time. I'm glad you could join me today. Hope you learned something new. I hope my babbling wasn't too much for you. And hopefully I'll see you again soon, my friends. Take care, and I'll see you next time. episode of Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. I am your host, Vanilla Biscotti. And today, we have a viewer, uh, sorry, I can't speak, a viewer request drawing today. I apologize for my lack of videos. I've uh, been kind of, kind of under the weather the last couple of days. But now I am back and we're going to draw this drawing requested by my friend Sarah in La La Land 
I'm going to graphically display her, her Twitter handle down below. And I'm also going to leave a link for her a link for her Twitter in the description. If you'd like to say hi to her. Boy, I'm sure she'd really appreciate that. Just stop on by. Hello, hello new friend. That's all you gotta say, hello new friend. How are you today, my friend? Thank you for the request on the painting with Vanilla Biscotti show. And oh boy, this is, this is gonna be a good drawing for, for everyone today. I'm drawing a Pokemon once again. But I'm drawing the Pokemon Ninetales. If you're not familiar, Ninetales is named Ninetales due to the fact that she has nine tails. So I actually am going to start over here because I did not like the way that was turning out so we're gonna start again sometimes it's okay to just start over you know things aren't working the way you thought they were going to just just start over no shame in it I'm gonna be perfectly honest I've never drawn a fox like creature before But that's sometimes what being an artist is all about. Trying stuff that's new, exciting, things that maybe you've never done before. It's all good for the growth of being an artist. Okay, so. We have to start getting rid of some of these lines here. Just clean this up a little bit. That's going to be the jaw there. Clean these lines up here because some of these are in the background there. Okay. So, what I want to do now is add another layer. And I'm going to draw the nose here. And maybe maybe I'll draw the eyes right 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 away. Just draw the eyes. I've been working a lot on the eyes, so what I do is I draw it. I have to draw a new layer. What I do is I draw it over here. And I color it in. And I get it all nice, looking nice. And um, I just copy it and move it. Because this program, boy, this program is some powerful stuff so I can just make another layer and color it in let me just color this in here real quick I've also learned about different size brushes, different ways to shade, always learning new techniques for my drawings so then I can turn around and teach them to you. Now what I do is I merge down here and then I just transform. Then I can just 
replace it. Then I can just duplicate and transform the other one. And we have the eyes. Simple as that. Simple as that, my friends. Simple as that. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this layer here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the smile coming out. No, two teeth is too many. Okay. So now she is called Nine Tails. So what I want to do first is I want to color in what I have so far and I'm going to make her like a white color I think that will be good for the tails like that start a new layer here make the brush big just color it in just color 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 just like that just like that just color have to be fancy with it you can always go back add details later once again I'm gonna graphically display my friends Twitter down below and I'm gonna display mine as well in case you'd ever like to give me a suggestion as to what you'd like me to draw or if you'd like to just talk one day okay so nine tails so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another layer and I'm gonna draw some floofy tails starting we'll start maybe right here so draw like a that's one tail and two three and then we're gonna have fourth one come up here and then we're gonna have one that's kinda down here six actually let's, uh, let's get rid of that one here we're gonna have one that comes up here that's six and then seven, eight, right there, and a big one it comes up nine. Okay, and then we're gonna what I'm gonna do here, add another layer, add little points to these. Just just little furry points. Just for reference and color. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another layer. Every single one of these, I'm going to make another color. So I have my eight colors picked out. What I'm going to do is just color all these in. And actually, move it down so that it looks a little nicer. We got another color here picked out already color that in and we have this one right here different color different shade of blue here it's okay if you if you go outside the lines none of us are perfect Got another shade of blue here to get rid of my toolbar. Okay, and then we got the last shade of blue here. Color that in, color, color. Okay. 
start on the next color here that I have picked out. bar here color color this in and we have another color this one We might not have enough tails here. That's okay. That can easily be fixed. Just color this tail in here. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine tails. Now we just take the tips, color the tips here like that just like that there look at that look 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 how easy this is to make a nine tails just like that just like that my friends and there you have it actually I have to make a little bit of adjustments here so what I'll do is I'll transform this layer here it's a little bit smaller and we gotta go in here and give those eyes that nice shine that any loving animal would have I'll just put it on a new layer on top here My brush is too big here make that smaller get rid of a little bit there maybe a little bit right there 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 that's it that's 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 it that's perfect perfect okay everybody there you go. That's how you draw a perfect nine tails. Thank you for coming out to see me today. I hope you enjoyed this drawing, and I hope I can see you again, my friends. Take care.